you say in the interviews that I've read over the last couple of days even that you are a changed man, that you're different. How are you different? Well, you know, for me, I've been humbled by the whole experience, you know, from me losing everything, you know, to, to me having to regain, you know, public opinion or whatever it is. But most importantly, you know, knowing that what I did was totally wrong, you know, and having to kind of deal with myself and kind of forgive myself in the same breath. And, you know, being able to apologize to, you know, Rihanna and being able to be that that man that can be a man, you know? And yet, I think for my album and what I'm promoting as far as a single or whatever it is, it's just about me being positive. And everything that I'm doing with my music is hopefully to inspire the world and inspire people that, you know, have been in my situation or even anybody who's trying to learn from me, you know? So you're prior. together as a couple Yeah, yeah right everything now. is good. We're fine. You, I'm not really focused on, you know, the negative. Everything about it is positive for me. I've learned through, I did my 52 weeks of, you know, counseling and learned that it was absolutely wrong you know and you understand that if you behave badly again you're going to damage not only your relationship but her relation her absolutely. her reputation as well absolutely so that's why I'm moving forward positive people in this country it seems they love to build someone up and bring them down and then they they enjoy standing on the sidelines and watching as someone goes down but it's also been said people like comeback stories absolutely do you think that the people who have been your harshest critics have it in their hearts to give you a chance at a comeback i think for me it's about proving myself to my fans